Lama 3 is literally ruling the artificial intelligence world for the last three days. Meta released this model just two days ago and everyone is talking about it. It has even eclipsed GPT-4, Anthropic's Cloud Opus and a lot of other models which were released just a few days back. There was a flurry of them but these days no one is talking about them. Everyone is talking about Lama 3 and there are various reasons behind it. First and foremost, it is completely open source free and if you don't want to install it locally and privately, you can access it on Facebook, Meta, website, Instagram and their WhatsApp and various other um, avenues. You can check it out very, very easily. Meta 3 is a model which is not only very performant, but also it is quite safe. It is quite responsible. It comes into two flavors, 8 billion and 70 billion. And soon we will be seeing a 400 billion parameter model for Met, um, Lama 3. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install it locally with the help of Olama, which is one of the fastest and easiest tool in order to install various large language models locally. Not only that, we will also be creating chat user interface on top of this Olama with the help of this fabulous tool by Ivan, Chatbot Olama. So let's get started. Let me go to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.02. I already have Olama installed and you, if you don't know how to install Olama, it's very simple. All you need to do is to run a curl command and then you should be able to run it. Let me quickly show you what that command is. So this is a command. This is all you need to do. It downloads Olama and install it on your local system. But I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Let me clear my screen. Now once that's done, make sure that you have three things installed. You should have Docker installed. You should have Node installed latest version. And you should have NPM installed. So you would need these things for downloading the model with Olama and plus the chat user interface. I already have them installed. And if, again, if you don't know, please search the channel. I have gone into way more detail into the installation steps of this. Let's clear the screen. So as I said, I'm, I have my Olama is already running. You can check it simply by doing Olama list. You see that I already have a Mistral latest and file latest there. Now in order to run, download and install Olama uh, Lama 3 model with Olama. All you need to do is to do this Olama space run space Lama 3 and it is going to download all the Docker layers of this Lama 3 model on your local system. The size is just 4.7 gig as you can see on your screen. How good is that? So let's wait for it to download and then it is going to check the checksum of this and then it is going to run it. That's all there is to it. You don't have to know any machine learning or anything else in order to run it. This is the beauty of Olama. It's, it's already downloaded it. It is verifying the checksum and that's all done there. There you go. So now you can talk with this uh, model. So let's talk with it. What is your name? My model. Yes, it doesn't have a, but you can call me Lama. What is what Lama version you are version 1.3? Okay, who which one is the company behind you? Meta AI, who is the, the engineer who? created you which one you like more than which one you hate more that's a fun question and it says that it doesn't have personal preferences okay so there is not any engineer it liked anyway so i'm just kidding with it so you see that we have installed it and we are running it and we are doing inference with this model so that is all done and good let me exit from here. Let's say bye. And then let me clear the screen. Now I'm going to create a chat user interface so that instead of talking with this model here, I will chat with it in a nice clean chatbot. 
So let me first clone that repo of the tool which I showed you, chatbot Olama. That's done. Let me cd into that chatbot. That is also done. And now let's install some of the dependencies with npm, and that is why we needed the npm. So it is installing on the dependencies, which is great. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. It's very, very quick and lightweight. And you see, it is already done. Now, one thing we need to do is if you do lstshltr, you will see that there is an environment file. And so if I just say dot env, this is the environment file. So in this environment file, you need to specify your public IP where your Olama is running with the port, I think port is 3000. So let me specify that and I'll show you this file again. So you see that I have just created this .env file in the root of this repo. And all I have done is I have added, added this line, Olama underscore host and HTTP 000 and this port that I'm telling it, the chatbot UI, that this is where the Olama is running. Okay, so that's done. Let me clear my screen. now. All you need to do here in order to run this chatbot UI is to run npm run dev. It is going to start your chatbot UI. I think this is done because you see the green text, so it means it is listening and using that environment.env file. So, all there remains is you just go to your browser and access this at port 3000. So, make sure that if you are behind firewall, you have made it open. So this is a browser and you see that by default it is using Mistral Latest, but if you click on this drop down, you can select Llama 3 like this. And you can make it as creative as li you like with the randomness, temperature you are setting. On the right hand side, you can create new prompts. On the left hand side, you can create new chats and you can do a lot of things with it. So let me ask it one question in the meaning of happiness. There you go. So it is look at the response and look at the uh, you know nice way it has marked it down there you go how good is that it has given it like you know in bold paragraphing is superb and then this is simply amazing stuff and look at the reasoning i mean if you read through it you'll be surprised to see that the reasoning of it now let me ask it uh, one of the coding question because it is quite good on coding I'm asking it translate this Python function into JavaScript. Let's see. Okay, let's go down. There you go. So there is your thing. What a wonderful topic instead. It's very, very respectful too, by the way. Then it is JavaScript function. And then it is telling us that this it has converted it. And then it has also given you a synopsis. Let's see if it can do code repair. I'm asking it identify and fix the issue in this Python function. There you go. How good is that? Wow. So it has yeah, uh, it has dived into this code and it has fixed it and it has very very correctly identified. Amazing. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, I am the more I'm using this meta, the more I'm becoming a fan. And courtesy to Olama and this chatbot Olama, we can now just talk with it privately locally with ease of use that's it i will drop the links to these in video's description i have also done various other vid uh, videos on installation on windows installation on linux the full versions plus fine tuning and lot of other stuff so please search it out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching